Welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger with me, Get Daved. So last time we smashed up uh, Robo's girlfriend bot. Okay, here's our first fun encounter with a laser guard. They shoot each other and then they blow themselves up. Now we have a pretty good magic defense, so that isn't a big deal anymore. But if this happened, say, way earlier in the game, it would be nothing short of a disaster. Alright, those Piozo dolls we got, we can put here. That leads to the end of the area. We're not going to go there quite yet. Because there's treasure chests galore out here. And besides, we haven't heard all the creepy messages and things to see with humans yet. Okay, they're on conveyor belts. Well, who knows what could have happened to that person when they... If you'd like to know what happens to the people who go on this conveyor belt... Let's just get a slightly better look at it, shall we? And there goes his soul. Got one full ether. Okay, we should probably shut down this machine. I believe we found everything there is to find. I'm just gonna do one quick little peek back here. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Um, what's my best double tech with this posse? Blade toss. I'm not feeling it with this party. We're going to change it up. Uh, I need real offense. And... Uh, Apparently that means Luca and Ayla, holy crap. So yeah, let's switch them in. Oops. I'm just gonna double check their equipment and ensure they are really high on the magic defense. I feel like I do a lot of changing prism helms, but it's important. Uh, Zodiac cape to Ayla. I think she's my first person with, oh no, Robo's got massive defense to you, all right. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, let's go for it. Now, if you come in here underleveled, this is a very tough boss coming up. The Mother Brain. Thanks, Robo. But not Magus. He has taught me nothing. Now, I believe that implies she's going to kill him because humans are mortal. But, maybe not. Maybe she's going to engage in diplomacy. Alright, I think it's a dark male for charming the mother brain. Oh, blue mail. Alright. One quick note. Um, the displays are your number one enemy, but when you kill them, Mother Brain becomes increasingly powerful in terms of raw destructive power. So, uh, watch out for that. And I just realized Ayla has no MP, so we're gonna have to do something about that, considering my game plan was to spam, you know, Fire Whirl and nothing else. You get confused. She's got prison helms on, so she should be immune, and it apparently is. Alright, this should take care of all three displays at once. You can just dispatch them with normal attacks, but uh, why would you do that when you have this option? Yeah, this happens a lot. And it just keeps getting stronger and stronger until it totally swings out of control. Now we've got some wicked triple techs, so that should help a bit. But uh, honestly, if you come here first and like have been avoiding battles, 
This fight, not fun. More like a lesson in agony. See, it's twice as strong. Guess what's gonna happen next time. Oh yeah, and apparently she keeps getting stronger too. terrible, but, uh, just trust me. Terror arm is Robo's best weapon. Crisis arm, it kind of varies. He's feeling shockingly good about that. So yeah, the crisis arm, it does damage based on the last digit of your hit points. It sounds like it does more damage when your HP are low. It's, I think, tied to the last digit. I looked into it a while ago because I was so terribly confused. Um, we're going to stick with the good old Terra Arm. Uh, and if any of you know super good strategies with the Crisis Arm, be my guest to share them. Uh, yep. So, looks like we've got nothing left to do except the Black Omen, which is fun, 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 exciting, happy. So we're gonna visit the end of time real quick, and then we will be on our way to 1000 AD. Now the thing with the Black Omen is you can do it three times, uh, for three times the fun. Uh, once you clear through it the first time, most of the enemies are dead. I'm not really sure why, but they are. Um, by which I mean they don't respawn even though you technically haven't killed them yet in the other time periods. But you know, that's okay. Uh, yeah, we're all full. Let's actually change up the party here, and let's take a shot at Specchio. I wonder if we can take out the level 40 version of him. So, we're going to switch in super awesome party. Maximize everyone's magic defense, because we're about to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Specchio. Some would say I should bring Magus. Sorry, he just... I'm going to be relying on triple techs a lot. And he's not that great at dispatching single enemies. Zodiac cape, I need something else. Alright. Moon armor. Frenzy band's useless in this fight. Flea vest, though, will give Chrono full magic defense. Uh, I think I will be going with that one. Although... Man, prism specs are tempting, because 88 is pretty high. Everybody else? Yeah, you know what? What we're going to do is we're going to put the flea vest on Chrono to max out his magic defense. And Luca we're going to give... No, Marl we're going to give the prism specs, which is, are going to add some serious power to our magic. Where are you, prism specs? There we go. So she's going to be dishing out some serious damage. Uh, Luca, we just need to have that extra bit of speed. So. Let's heal up. Save, and then go for it. Yeah. I think he looks a bit scarier now. Yep, bring it on. Probably will not have time to finish this fight in this video, but that's okay. This move is terrible if you don't have uh, Prism Helms on. Let's use Luminaire right away. Buy us some time to haste everybody. And I don't care that it's consuming an item. I'm going to use a Lapis just to get everyone's HP up a little higher. As usual, like, did you notice how quickly Specchio acted? That was between, like, command inputs on my end. Dark Bomb. 
Marl's got awesome magic defense, though, so... Her stat was 98, so she's filtering out 98% of the damage from magic attacks, so... That makes his life a little harder. Which makes my life a lot more fun! I think most of the damage is actually going to be filtered. Well, no. No, that was still insanely powerful. Oh, Luca, you're the secret to so many good double hex, and I never appreciated you until this Let's Play. Forgive me. Alright. And I think I'm actually going to rely on Luca and Chrono for the offense, because that frees up Marl to do nothing but heal. Alright, I'm going to pause it. We'll finish off Specchio next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger. I'll see you there.